Little Foot Nursery. Um, and I am here with baby Connor. He's still wearing his Halloween outfit. These uh, cute little booties and he's got his little pumpkin knitted cap and he's just wearing a plain white onesie. Um, and I actually wanted to do the bald babies tag. So this is a tag started by Carolyn of C Canadian Reborn Mama One. And um, I thought it would be an interesting topic to chat about. Now, um, I actually don't have any bald babies in my collection, so, but I, but I like them. I think they look cute. It's just, um, you know, but I wanted to talk that through a little bit and just, um, you know, kind of chat a little bit about, you know, why that might be and um, stuff like that. So, but anyway, while I, um, while I do that, I'm going to multitask a bit here and I'm going to change Connor actually into this, um, uh, let's see, it's a, it's an outfit by Mayoral. It is a all one piece, but um, it's there's like a white long sleeve, um, long sleeve shirt underneath with this you know kind of blue seersucker, blue and white striped seersucker collar, and then um, the, the there are um, what look like to be overalls in a light blue, and it's sort of this. Um, fabric that has little applique clouds on it, if that makes sense. And then there are two bunnies here. There's a gray bunny and a, and a brown bunny. And the brown bunny is, has its back facing us and is sort of looking at the gray bunny. So it's actually, it's, it's really cute. So uh, I thought it'd be cute to change Connor into this outfit. And I think I'll just stick this over his onesie um, just to make it easier. Um, yeah, and I don't have a bald baby, so Connor is basically the closest that I have to a bald baby in my collection. So I figured, you know, he he can kind of stand in here. <laughs> Actually, you know, I think I am gonna remove the onesie. Sorry, guys, because I think I don't I don't want there to be a line here in the arm. So yeah, but um, I thought the bald babies tag was really interesting because I don't have any bald babies in my collection. Um, but I am thinking about, um, I have a Spencer kit from Bountiful Baby that I got in one of the sales. Um, and I don't know if you guys have seen this kit. Um, oh my gosh, he is such a cute sculpt. He's got like a really big head and he looks all boy to me. And I think he would be a fantastic baldy. I really do. So I think there's some some babies that I think look really great bald, um, depending on the sculpt. Um, I, I do, I'm not a fan of the bald baby look for older babies um, that, you know, kind of look like they should be six months size or older, because I feel like by then you should probably have at least a little bit of hair. But I definitely really like it for um, preemies and some newborns. And I think it really depends on the sculpt. Um, but I personally, um, have only, you know, I, I've had hair on all the babies that I've personally painted mainly because I really enjoy, um, I usually do painted hair and I really love painting the hair. That's one of my favorite parts of the process. So, um, so that was something that, um, it was just kind of my preference for a lot of the babies that I paint. But of course, if I was doing a custom and the mommy wanted the baby to be bald, I would, of course, I would, that would absolutely be fine. Um, and sometimes when I'm doing like a work in process and I see the baby all bald before, um, you know, he or she has hair, um, I kind of think, oh my gosh, it looks so, so cute. So, um, so this, this is supposed to be, um, this particular outfit, just to remind myself on the size, it's a two to four month size, which I think fits a little bit more like a three to six month size. Um, I feel like the European sizing has definitely taken me some time to sort of figure out. Um, I think I've mostly got it figured out, but like I think newborn is kind of true newborn sized um, or maybe even large preemie. And then I think like zero to one month is more like you know, can usually fit zero to three. Oh yeah, sorry, newborn I think is true newborn. Um, and then <clears throat> do the buttons here on the back. And then, um, then I think this like weird 
Then there's a one to two month size, which I think is really more of a very comfortable three month size. And then their two to four month size, I, I feel like translates more to six months. So it's a little, it's a little hard to figure out a little bit and it might depend on the baby. And you know, sometimes you get those babies that are sort of like in between sizes, um, like, like, oh yeah, like this fits, um, this really fits Connor perfectly and he looks really cute in this outfit. Um, I didn't love this outfit as much on um, Noah, and I think part of it was I feel like Noah is a little bit longer than Connor, so the outfit might have been just a little bit tight on him. I, I feel like when the outfit is just slightly loose, just a little bit, not a ton, but just slightly loose on the baby, it does lend itself to looking a little bit more realistic. So, you know, just, just my opinion on that. Um, but yeah, like I like I feel like with Connor, um, like I, I, and I don't know if I would put. Um, I think for some babies, you know, when they have um, painted hair, like I sometimes often will prefer painted hair over rooted hair, um, especially if the, especially because I th I feel like sometimes the painted hair does make the sculpt look more baby. Um, but I do love, of course, a really well done, um, rooted head of hair. Um, but I think depending on how long the hair is, it can make the baby look, you know, more realistic or less realistic. It just sort of depends. And, and I feel like it should correspond, um, depending on kind of the age of what that baby would be in real life. So if it's a brand new newborn, I really generally really like kind of more of a sparse, uh, sparse newborn look, um, but yeah, it, it, but it just so depends on the sculpt at the end of the day. So, so yeah, I don't have any bald babies, but I'm kind of looking at Connor and I'm kind of thinking, yeah, I think he would have been very cute as a bald baby. But as you guys can see, he's got, he does have painted hair. His um, artist did Prisma pencil on his hair. Um, and this is the same artist who um, painted my Evelyn. And um, Evelyn also has painted hair as well, but um, it's very lightly done with the Prisma. It looks very beautiful. Um, it's really, it's really nicely done. So, um, but it's interesting with bald babies because there is one artist that I know who, uh, you know, when she did customs used to offer, you know, you had different options. You could do bald baby, you could do painted hair, or you could do rooted hair. And, um, she used to offer all three. Um, but then, uh, I think just you know, fairly recently decided to no longer offer bald babies because in her mind she felt that they were unfinished. And so I thought that was really interesting um, because, um, and I'd say that as a collector, you know, I tend not to be as drawn to the bald babies for some reason. Um, I think, you know, they're, um, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I, I like, I, I like, I like them, but I've just never purchased one. Um, and maybe now that I paint, it'd be less likely for me to purchase one just because, um, I feel like I want to buy babies that, you know, where the artist is displaying a skill that I don't have yet. Like, um, so for me, that would really be rooted hair. But if the doll was extremely, if the, the hair is really well painted, I would consider that too. But I think I feel like with a baby that's bald, um, that's something that I could, you know, make for myself. And so it's a little harder for me personally to justify spending the money on a reborn that's bald. Um, so yeah, that, so that's just me, but I, I usually like my babies with a little bit of hair, like just, I, I don't, I think most babies, um, you know, they may look bald from a little bit of a distance, but if you go up close, there's usually a little bit of hair, even if it's just like the smallest, <laughs> most subtlest baby fuzz. Um, but I think if they have like a really nice round shaped head, um, I think, you know, having them as a baldy is really, is really cute. Um, so, so yeah, I, so I guess my conclusion is I do like them. I don't have them in my collection. I've never painted one. Um, I probably wouldn't buy one now that I know how to paint. Um, but you know, but I, but I do think they're cute. <laughs> so, um, and, you know, it's just kind of expanding on this topic a little bit and talking about, you know, I've, I think I've talked about painted hair versus rooted hair. Um, it's so interesting to me that I've heard a, f a number of collectors say that they either like their babies 
bald or they like their babies to have rooted hair, like either or. They don't really like um, the painted hair. And I, I, and I find that super interesting and I'm wondering why that is. Um, I, I guess I wonder if it's because, you know, if you're painting the hair tactilely, it doesn't feel like hair, even though it might look like hair from a little bit of a distance. Um, I definitely prefer having painted hair than having a bald baby. I, I generally think for most babies it, it does. Um, it, it's, it's my, you know, I, I prefer that, but, um, but like I said, when I do Spencer, I'll probably leave that little guy bald because that is just, <laughs> he's just such a cute head and I think he'd be adorable as a baldy. Um, so, and, and I do, and I will say that I would prefer a bald baby over a badly rooted baby. I, I, you know, that's such a hard thing with rooting because I feel like it's such a massive time investment. It can take, you know, 40 plus hours. It could, it can take several days or several weeks to root a head of hair, um, on a baby. I have never tried really rooting like an entire head of hair. I've done combi where I've painted hair first and rooted over that. Um, so I've done that before, but, um, but yeah, that's one of the reasons I'm a little scared to try rooting because, you know, the last thing I want to do is have this beautifully painted baby and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm, I'm rooting and then the rooting is, is terrible and actually makes the value of the baby worse. Um, plus with more effort put, you know, that I have to put into, to making that baby than if I had just left the baby bald. So um, yeah, so if it's, it's, if it's the difference between a beautifully painted baby that's bald versus one that's beautifully painted, but badly rooted, like that's the only difference, I would take the bald baby any day. Um, I, I really think like, um, really bad rooting can ruin the baby. And I think, um, there are some other things that I, I look for too with reborns. Like if the eyebrows are badly done, I think that, that, so that's a deal breaker too for me. So it's, it's hard you guys. Um, because you know, um, it's so hard because, you know, as an artist, you know, rooting, um, just takes so much time and it, it really has, um, it really strains your, your hand. Like I'm, you know, when I was rooting, um, even just doing combi for a baby, I was like, Oh my gosh, after like an hour of it, my, my wrist, my hand, everything just like hurts. Um, so, so it can be physically hard on you too. So, um, anyway, I, I didn't mean for this to kind of turn it like totally morph into a whole different discussion, but I do think that increasingly fewer, um, there are fewer artists that root than before. Um, but there's still a lot that do. And I certainly, my hat, goes off to those who do root their babies because I, I know it's so much work. Um, it can take longer than painting the entire baby. So it's, it's extremely time consuming. And there's some now that will only root for their own personal babies in their collection and they don't root for the ones that they sell just because, you know, when they do the calculation of how much time and effort it, it takes to root versus how much additional they can charge for a rooted baby. Um, they don't find that it, it's, it's worth it. Um, because you know, once you get to the higher price points for reborns, for silicones, um, for anything for that matter, it's just natural that the number of buyers for babies at that higher price point is going to be a lot less, um, than if, you know, you had, oh, he's such a cutie. Um, then if you had, you know, just charged a lower price, um, but offered, you know, a bald baby or a painted hair baby. So anyway, a little bit of a twist to the tag. Um, you know, I just thought I would share some of my perspectives now that I'm an artist and I also paint. Um, but yeah, I, I just personally love doing the painted hair. That's like my favorite. So, uh, but I do hope to learn some new painted hair techniques and just keep um, expanding upon my repertoire. Um, and yeah, it's just like, there's so many things I want to do. So many kits to paint, not enough time. Um, as, uh, as I am filming this, uh, Gabigail is nearly all done. Um, and last night I, you know, we were, um, you know, last night, I think, like I mentioned, um, we went to the mall and, you know, I got to shop for just kind of a more deluxe layette, um, for her. So I'll have to show you those items. I ordered some additional things from Amazon, which should arrive in a couple days. And I'll, I'll probably do a video where I'm showing you guys all the things that she'll be coming home with in terms of her more deluxe layette. Um, and I, you know, 
anyway, that's a whole nother video topic. So I'll cut this off here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, um, go check out Canadian Reborn Mama 1 because um, she's the one who did the original tag. And um, I've seen a couple people do the tag as well. So it's, it's a fun topic. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, um, don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up. Take care. Bye.